Hey, it's Doris with All of the Books, and I'm coming to you from this awkward angle because I needed a display surface for all of the books that I read in July. We're going to have show and tell here, show and tell here to start us off. Um, yeah, it's not about me. It's about the books. So let's get to it. In the month of July, I was having a 30 books in 30 days personal challenge and emphasis on personal because yes i did work the system i did but you know it's it's not about the reading of the 30 books themselves it's about the motivation to read the 30 books and i was highly motivated with this challenge so let's just let's just get going i read um five picture books. Okay. Skippy John Jones, class action. Highly recommend Skippy John if you haven't read him. Uh, Splish Splash Splat. Paint the Cat, Rockin' in My School Shoes. Back to school we go. Uh, Bad Kitty. This was more of a a chapter book with pictures <laughs> and a weed is a flower the life of george washington carver by Aliki. um gabriel says this is my motto this title here I, I would have to agree so there we go here we go we're getting started here i also read um one two three four five middle grade books the hero two doors down by sharon robinson this is the daughter of jackie robinson moo by sharon creech written in verse yes save me a seat oopsie by um gita veradarahan and sarah weeks and towers falling by joel parker rhodes um, The Firefly Letters by Margarita Engel, also written in verse, and Another Brooklyn by Jacqueline Woodson. This is kind of YA slash adult, uh, I believe maybe written in prose poetry. <sighs> yes, and let's just throw in a couple of graphic novels. Uh, they Call This Enemy by George Tacky. And Showa, this is number four, The History of Japan from 1953 to 1989. So, there you go. Uh, a Poetry Collection, Wade in the Water by Tracy K. Smith. This is the Poet Laureate prior to this one, and really good collection. I finished two more of the Faber short stories with Sean, Sonny Liston was a friend of mine by Tom Jones and Terrific Mother by Lori Moore. I finally finished Kristen Lovren's Daughter by Sigrid Umset. I did not read this entire thing in July, <laughs> no. <laughs> I did read the last book, however, this is three books in one volume. So I finished that with Ange and we were both going hallelujah. I DNF'd A Kind of Freedom by Margaret Wilkerson Sexton. I read the first 85 pages and the last 15 of this. It's a fairly short book. It's a little over 200, 225-ish. Um, but I also DNF'd two contemporary romance novels. And I didn't DNF, but I kind of just perused Hidden Figures. This is the uh, Young Readers Edition. I have read the um, original adult edition previously, so I just wanted to get a feel for it. Um, and I watched the movie as well. Highly recommend both um, anyway. So yeah, I think I, you know, sort of read that. Um, and then... I read two Jane Austens this month, my last two of her six novels, Persuasion and Northanger Abbey. So I'm done with that task for the year. Looking forward to rereads maybe next year. 
I read um, To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, a modern classic. Or a classic, I, what's the line? Maybe this is a classic, 1925, I think, 27, I don't know, anyway. I read a memoir, um, When I Was Puerto Rican by Esmeralda Santiago. Loved it. Okay, and then some novels. Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. Meh. Uh, Night Tiger by Yang Si Chu. Awesome. How Not to Die Alone by Richard Roper. Enjoyable. Women Talking by Miriam, Tave, Miriam Taves. Fabulous. Um, we Cast a Shadow by somebody. Sorry, this is not We Cast a Shadow. I don't own that book. This is a filler. It was okay. Oopsie, we're tilting. We're tilting. Oh, you can't even see the top anymore. Here we go. Oh, we're even more awkward now. Sorry. Okay. Um, Magician's Assistant by Ann Patchett, so good. Tin Man by Sarah Winman, also lovely. Salvage the Bones by Jessamyn Ward, um, just very gorgeous writing, but the plot did not agree with me. Uh, Happiness by Amanad Forna. Beep! Book 2 prize alert. I forgot I'm not supposed to talk about this one right now. Also, it's really early in the morning and my beep wasn't working properly. And An American Marriage by Tayari Jones, which, unpopular opinion, I actually enjoyed and I am as shocked as the rest of you. So, there you go. These are the books that I read in July. So... The really important part of this besides reading and enjoying books, that's the number one thing. Um, let's see how I did uh, as far as working down the TBR. So, this one I um, purchased this month. This one as well I own. Three, four, Five. This one was the filler that I don't own. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and these do not come off my TBR. So 23 off my TBR. I wonder if I counted wrong. So 23. 24 to 5 to 6, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So, 32 for the month. I did have to stretch it 30 books in 31 days because on day 30, I wasn't there. Let me double count these again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, and let's look at my bullet journal at my inventory data. Um, here it is. So I read 22 off my TBR and I unhauled one because I DNF'd it. So that makes 
23 total, and there were 17 in the infamous book outlet hall, and six more from McKay's used bookstore. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. <laughs> you know what that means? What does that mean, friends? Can you tell oh me? Oh my God, the guy. Can you tell me what that means? It means I miraculously broke even this month. I'm so happy. <laughs> you know, 17 books in one box is a bit excessive. So anyway, let's get to the August TBR now, finally. So first up, let's remind ourselves of the elephant in the room. This is my haul revisits from 2017 and we are well past 50 books now um i'm thinking about doing a try a chapter tag with the top five here so maybe maybe but let's talk about that maybe part so the thing is i have kid kids playing games what's what's you know anyway um <laughs> Yeah, so the maybe part is that, as you can imagine, after a intensive month in which I attempted to read 30 books and put up a video every day, right there. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit, well, I'm needing a break is what I'm saying. I need a break. So... <laughs> I really haven't read anything is for the last two days. It's August 3rd. Yes, it's the 3rd. And I didn't read much of anything the first and second. I think I listened to an audiobook, which I decided that's not working as an audiobook, and that's about it. This morning I did start reading again, so I'm back in the game. However, I don't I need a month of no real parameters. So Lucy Goosey, I can't talk. Lucy Goosey month in August is what I'm saying. So I am tempted to do a try a chapter tag and if I feel like it, I will, but not making any concrete plans. We have um, two readathons this month, the Newts and the Women in Translation. I did put the Women's in Translation in my calendar. I'm definitely going to do something for that. I don't know if I'm going to order any books. I want to, but I'm trying to control myself. I may just see what I randomly have on my shelf. We shall see. And the newts, I mean, I really want to do that because they're the newts, but I'm not making any promises. It's not mandatory. I can do it whenever if I decide to. Um, I also have, you know, the, the reading women, um, challenge and the through the ages bingo that I would like to work on uh, and then I still have these books so uh, and this one so yeah there's that I would like to at the end of um, this month not have any partials like it's been a long time since I've had a month where I didn't have any books on the go starting the next month so all of these books have been started I would like to not have any books that are started in September that would be like so cool so but I'm not making any any promises this is not a rule this is not you know a challenge this is a maybe August is the month of maybes for me I have these two new books that I would really love to get to. This middle grade, I would still like to finish and take it back to my library. Um, it's because you stopped running your turn around and shoot yourself. Case in point, I mean, Bernice L. McFadden, I've been meaning to read one of her books for two years now and have not. So, 
Um, hopefully, if I have a relaxed month, I'll have time to get to some of these type things. Oh, you're in trouble now. I'm supposed to start this as a buddy read, I think, eventually. Oh. Um, this one, I think, will come up yep. on audio soon, so I'll leave it up here. Um, I think these three can go back to my shelves. And then I also have a few okay. buddy reads. So... Prodigal Summer by um, Barbara King Solver. I'm going to read that with Britta. It's over there in the tower. It's going to stay there till my son can help me. And obviously he's occupied at the moment. And A Light in August. Book Bookish no. and Alan, I forget his channel name, are hosting um, a, what should we say? William Faulkner August. A light in August, so I'm gonna read that with them. It's a buddy, a read along kind of thing. And then um, I have started uh, Crossroads of Twilight by Robert Jordan. This is The Wheel of Time number 10. We're in double digits finally with Kate Howe. And Vera by um, Von Arnhem. What's her first name? I forget. Elizabeth Von Arnhem uh, with Kate, Tao, and Brie. And then I will start okay, Disoriental okay. by Nagar Javadi. We'll this one is with Jacqueline and Patrice. Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me. That, I'm starting next week. And then later in the month, um, I'm reading Lost Children Archive by Valeria Ulisselli with Adam from Memento Mori. And Valentina. It will be my first buddy read with Valentina. I'm so excited about that. Um, so, yeah. So, really, this month, I'm only making promises to my buddy reads. And I will read it's so crazy how these for Women in Translation so Month. But I haven't decided my Terrible. plan of attack with that. But those are my only Stick two. Promises, the rest is a list of maybes so I can read a little more freely. I'm trying not to schedule any more buddy reads in August than I already have. You know me, I have bad FOMO when it comes to buddy reads, but I'm trying to push them all into September. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching and yay books. See you soon. Bye.